also a bit of a different video today. It is very, very windy, so this will also be a decent test in terms of uh, wind and noise sound on the uh, onboard microphones on the S22 Ultra. I'm shooting this right now in 4K um, on the ultra wide lens. But basically this is just a sort of day in the life of a photographer. Uh, I wanted to bring the phone out. This is the last day I have the S22 Ultra, unfortunately. Uh, it is having to be sent back and be returned. But I wanted to run it through its paces, take it up to London, one of my favorite places to shoot street photography. And also it will serve as a really good battery life test as well. So the day in the life, full day of shooting, cameras do tend to rinse the battery life uh, on most phones. So it's gonna be a really, really good test. It's just before 1 p.m. We're sitting at, I think, 72% just because I've had to do a kind of bunch of an update, a bunch of updates and things like that on the S22 to get it pretty much just like completely good to go today make sure I don't need to do anything else but super buzz so the only thing left to do is jump on the train. So on the train luckily uh, London only about an hour away from where I live um, I am connected wirelessly via Bluetooth to my AirPods. Apologies, Android dedicated uh, purists. How dare I do use AirPods? They're just my favorite wireless headphones, personally. Proper guilty pleasure YouTube videos. Uh, I'm going to be watching a bunch of YouTube videos on this journey. Uh, but Fortnite YouTube videos are a real guilty pleasure of mine. Um, something I've just been enjoying massively on the S22 Ultra is the screen. Like The screen is absolutely beautiful. Probably the best display I've ever used on a smartphone. Super, super bright in daylight, never any issues from that point of view. First thing first, after the journey, um, I'm, and also I'm gonna be filming a bunch today on the S22 Ultra, so there's gonna be lots and lots of video samples just like this one. First thing though, we've gotta grab some food. This is a food market near London Bridge, if you're ever in London, called Borough Market. Um, really thoroughly recommended. I went to a place called the Black Pig and got a like pulled pork roll, absolutely amazing properly delicious uh, and of course the s22 camera making it look extra crispy here so i've not actually shot a point of view video like this on the channel before so hopefully you guys enjoy this it's gonna be a bunch of this point of view footage so you can literally see how i'm shooting photos on the s22 ultra one of my favorite things is uh, the optical zoom functionality so we can go from that ultra wide to the wide lens to the uh, telephoto to the optical 10 times telephoto right at the uh, upper end of that spectrum I'm pretty much shoot exclusively in uh, Pro Raw, the expert Pro Raw mode on the S22 Ultra. And then I actually just pull those photos into Lightroom and I edit them uh, using my presets that I do have available for this phone. The files are really, really good 16 bit files. So you do get a ton of editing data from the raw files on the phone. Definitely the best raw files from a phone that I've ever used. This was one of my favorite shots of the day, this one here. And then this also followed up um, by another of my favorite shots. I was sort of noticing this um, sun kicking through this archway uh, when I took this and just like, uh, I just think this looked really, really nice. Um, and as you can see, the uh, the shot and the edit coming out of the Ultra. Something that's obviously relatively central to the phone is the size in terms of the S22 Ultra. Like personally, I don't mind the size. Uh, the only times I ever actually have problems are when I'm filming a video like this. I can't use my left hand. You know, I have to do everything one-handed because I'm holding a camera. That's kind of the only times that I have actual uh, issues with the size. I do have relatively big hands. I think if you are sort of happy using two hands for certain things um, and then sort of relying on one hand for a lot of stuff, you'll be absolutely fine with the size. Obviously, this is an S22 Ultra. It's essentially a Note. So yeah, you know, big phone. Whilst I was recording that little segment, I spotted uh, this tiny little look through that the dynamic range of this Insta360 isn't going to be able to capture. But uh, you can just see the Gherkin, which is a famous building in London. Uh, it's creeping through this little gap. Uh, this is the thing I love about street photography is just being able to uh, kind of zero in on like different angles, different stuff. Like never, you're never going to get the same photo as somebody else when you shoot street which is like super cool so i waited for somebody to walk past and then just snapped away so towards the end of the day golden hour i headed down to uh, south bank you can see big ben here uh, the sun was just kicking through the buildings looking absolutely gorgeous this is all obviously r6 footage uh, but back to point of view on the s22 ultra the, just the light here just made for some absolutely gorgeous shots and again the telephoto lenses just absolutely coming 
coming in clutch, letting you get those creative angles going from uh, the wide lenses to the telephoto lenses. Um, it's actually just, uh, I mean, I, I keep banging on about it, but it's just one of my favorite things about the S22 Ultra is the variance that you can get in the shots. Obviously, a whole bunch of photos shot throughout the day here. Here are some of my favorites. I'm not going to show you point of view for every single photo that I took. Uh, but like I said, just absolute dream of a camera to shoot high quality stills on. Uh, probably the best that I've ever used on a phone. After a few weeks of using this phone, I do have to admit that one of the things I really actually dislike about the S22 Ultra, especially coming from the Pixel 6 and a relatively native Android experience, is just how skinned and how much bloatware there is on this device. Pretty much every time I use it, I feel like it's downloading a Samsung update because there's obviously all of the Android Android updates that are happening but also all of the Samsung updates on top of that and there's a whole host of Samsung apps that have to be updated on top of that. Huh? The phone is actually super, super fast. Like it's, there's nothing sort of performance related about, I could, I think it's called Samsung One UI. But like I said, it is just a bit bloatware and personally I just prefer a native Android experience. All right guys, so you saw earlier uh, the shots or the, the rear facing video. This is the front facing video. Uh, also in 4K, um, 25 or 30 frames a second, I think this is filming in. Uh, but we're pretty much done now for uh, a full day of shooting. I reckon I've been shooting photos for four or five hours now. Uh, and we've got right down to, I think we're on 23% battery life. Uh, but I think really the only thing left to do is get on the train back home and start editing some of these photos. So guys, we are back. It's the next day after the long day of shooting photos and basically just playing around in London with the S22 Ultra. There's a couple of wrap up things I wanna mention. First of all is the S Pen. Um, I didn't use this at all. Um, I think this is because I've not really sort of used the Samsung Galaxy Note series. It just wasn't part of my workflow even in the slightest. Um, there's not really anything to take away from that. Like I think it's a really cool addition if this type of thing suits your work or your needs. Um, it just didn't kind of uh, for me. However, you know, if I use this phone long term, there's potentially uh, maybe I would have found that actually uh, I started to use the S Pen and really enjoyed it. Like it does seem like a really cool feature to be able to have just a really high quality stylus built into the phone. But like I said, just for me, not super useful. Something I will say about the phone, because the phone has to go back, I've been rocking around with a big sort of fairly chunky case on it because I didn't want it to get damaged. Um, but the ergonomics on this phone are absolutely beautiful. Like it is super nice in the hand feels so so nice with the rounded bezels like it's just a beautiful piece of engineering like good job Samsung it is just a lovely lovely phone to use however I have heard it gets scratches and potentially breaks sort of kind of fairly easily so you may want a, uh, a case but maybe get something slim so you don't ruin this beautiful form factor in terms of battery life the battery life didn't insanely impress me yesterday but I think it's potentially not that fair a test just due to the type of work that I was doing on it. Shooting in Expert Pro RAW, uh, the camera is rendering out 16-bit rendering out RAW files. Basically, I don't have everything on this phone set up like I would my own personal daily driver. So I was using this more like a camera than I was using it as a phone. I did, you know, sit on YouTube and stream stuff with it and things like that, but it wasn't like completely like I would normally use my phone. I have a data um, system set up with it and I was using it throughout the day because I wanted to be, you know, I wanted the test to be pretty realistic. Uh, but like I said, it wasn't like I had my Pixel 6 with me on the day. But I do think just what I was doing was relatively intense. Uh, so that meant that the battery performance wasn't fantastic throughout the day. Uh, but I do think that uh, with slightly less intensive usage of the camera and uh, the video functionalities, as you've seen, I was filming a lot of video on the phone as well. Uh, and it didn't run the battery dead in those sort of six hours or so that I was actually shooting content with the phone. I do think if you were shooting a ton of photos and video with this phone, you'd probably wanna bring an external battery pack with you. Onto the content production on the phone, like these lenses are awesome. Like it is super, super fun to be able to shoot uh, high quality photos and videos in that ultra wide, 
the uh, standard wide and the three times zoom and then obviously the 10x zoom. The fact that all of those are optical, super, super fun. You guys have been seeing samples throughout the video. Just really, really cool to be able to have those options. Uh, it's the first phone I've ever used with that 10x zoom on it. And yeah, just had an absolute blast. And then we briefly touched on it earlier, but the Samsung skin, uh, One UI, I think it's called, um, just not my favorite. Um, in terms of usability, I actually prefer my Pixel 6. Um, just in terms of like day-to-day -day, uh, usage of Android, like this is just a much more clean experience. Samsung still feels a little bit bloatware for me, but if you are really used to Samsung phones, you will absolutely love this, I am sure. Anyway guys, like I said, those lenses, super, super useful, super, super cool, but how do they compare to a professional camera? So check this last video out from me and maybe you'll find out.